Hello internet, it is Ida Malik Aaron Aaron and welcome back to the channel, part 151, I know, I'm stupidly, stupidly late with this, I apologize for that, I had to go to work today, it was like a good 6 hours, that I'm never getting back, and the news of this happened to drop right when I got to work, and when I saw it I was pretty pissed, so yeah, that's why this video is so super late but anywho so uh warner brothers you've been hearing about them a lot over the past few weeks mainly because of this merger that's been going on between warner brothers it's, it's now called warner brothers discovery and because of that merger uh lots of projects have been uh canceled for lack of a better word that's the main word people using because it's accurate i talked about batgirl Talked about Scoob 2. It was like the main ones, like the biggest ones that got axed. Not to mention all the TV shows and all the the fact that some or original HBO Max movies and shows have been removed from the service. So they just they just got removed from the Digiverse, basically. And it's it's just been a hot mess, to say the least. But now we got some stuff revolving around like the theatrical sphere, not the streaming sphere. I know. Above here says, oh, HBO Max dates for holiday movie. That doesn't matter. That's not relevant. What is relevant is right under it. Because, ooh, <laughs> some stuff happened today that I did not expect at all. <laughs> when I first read about it, I was like, are you serious? <laughs> but what can you do? So let's go over everything Warner Brothers related so first thing listed is Aquaman 2 Aquaman the, and the Lost Kingdom it's been delayed again <laughs> so this movie was supposed to come out December of 2022 that was the plan hell Warner Brothers they had like this well promo I remember it played in front of the Batman where it's basically the Batman, Black Adam, The Flash, Aquaman 2, and Warner Brothers being like, hey, you get these four DC movies coming in 2022, and now two of them aren't even 2022. They're coming out next year. So, wow, that ad, that ad aged real great, <laughs> obviously. Ugh, but So we got moved to like March of next year, but now that's changed again. Instead of March, it's now December 25th, 2023. So Christmas 2023. So a solid nine months. Mainly because of it needs more time in post-production. It needs more time in the oven, basically. And that was the reason why that first delay happened, well, partially. It was mainly because of the Flash. That needed like a bunch of like post-production work. A bunch of VFX work. It seems like this movie needs more, which I guess makes sense in a way. But yeah, so like its predecessor, it's going to be coming out Christmas, around Christmas time. Which, with the first Aquaman, I thought it was really weird that it had a Christmas day. It didn't feel like a Christmas-esque movie. But it was able to position itself as like the event film of Christmas. And it worked out great. It made like $335 million domestic, $1 billion dollars. It's still the highest grossing DC movie of all time worldwide, which is just absolute lunacy. <laughs> the fact that Aquaman, a character that's been mocked for years, <laughs> years, <laughs> a movie about him made more money than Batman v Superman and Justice League. That's mental, mind boggling, <laughs> but that's exactly what happened. So yeah. Obviously, a sequel would be a no-brainer. But with this long delay, it got me thinking, hmm, is Warner Brothers doing this so they can properly deal with one um, Amber Heard? That's a thought that went through my mind. Because as you know, Amber Heard, she's Mera in the Aquaman movies. She was in the first one. She's supposedly in the second one. But I feel like her being in the second one is a really bad choice because obviously if you've been on the internet for like the last few years you know it's been going on with her and Johnny Depp Amber Heard's an abuser she's a villain and I hate her <laughs> and I don't use that word lightly I legitimately despise her 
And a lot of people do too. So a lot of people were against her. There was like a big petition to remove her from Aquaman 2. So it's been bad. So having her involved with Aquaman 2 is just a really bad idea. Maybe not as bad as Ezra Miller and The Flash, but it's still very bad. It's still going to lead to bad PR. And I feel like this long delay might give Warner Brothers a chance to do something about it. Because apparently her time in the movie is already like super duper short. Apparently it's like less than like 10 minutes. But I feel like they could do more with the, with more time. They can do more. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, like, it wouldn't be like unheard of to change something like, you know, before a movie comes out, like a delay causes a movie to change. I mean, look at the original Sonic movie. You had it was supposed to come out in November 2019. That trailer came out. Everyone hated it. And then they were like, okay, we messed up. We're changing Sonic. So the movie got delayed by three months. And it took around five-ish months for them to redesign Sonic. So if, if that could happen with Sonic, then theoretically Warner Brothers can do something similar with Amber Heard. Maybe do a deep fake. <laughs> <laughs> or something to remove her from Aquaman 2. That would definitely be for the best. But for all you Aquaman fans who are looking forward to seeing this movie in March, well, not anymore. You're going to have to wait Christmas 2023. Sorry. Well, that's not the only DC movie to get delayed. Oh, no. <laughs> and you'd be surprised. It's not The Flash, amazingly. It's Shazam 2. So... Shazam 2, this movie, ugh, the release dates have been real wacky with this. This was originally supposed to come out in 2022. I think it was initially April 2022. Then I think COVID pushed it to like November 2022. And then it got moved to June 2023. And then earlier this year, it got moved up to December 2022 of this year, mainly because of VFX work that had to be done for Flash and Aquaman 2. So you're thinking, all right, Christmas 2022, let's go. And then now, now it has moved back to 2023. March 17th took Aquaman 2's old date. Yeah, this is really frustrating to say the least. Like it's one thing for a movie to get delayed over and over and over again it's another thing to push it up a bit or like push it up by like a few months it's another thing to ricochet from year to year <laughs> it really is another thing it's just ridiculous at this point it's the point like honestly if you're really being smart um uh, i would have i don't know like this march 17th day i guess it could work but I would have just straight up postponed The Flash indefinitely and then have Shazam 2 take that June date. I think that would have been a better choice. Uh, maybe, depending on like what the calendar looks like, I think that would be good. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that, that it actually would have worked out, I think. But, nope. Warner Brothers is dead set on releasing The Flash. Like, it doesn't matter what Ezra Miller does at this point. They could kill someone, assuming they haven't done it already. And the movie would, they'd still want to release it because they sunk so much money into it. We're talking like 200, 300 million dollars. Like they're willing to sacrifice 90 million dollars in the form of Batgirl, but they're not willing to, to sacrifice 200, 300 million on The Flash. So. Yeah, that's why you don't see the Flash mentioned here because that's sticking to its June 2023 release date and I'm still not going to watch it at all <laughs> because I refuse. So Warner Brothers are really playing a a goofy game <laughs> here with the Flash. So yeah, but for Shazam 2 coming out in March. I know that has to be disappointing for a lot of people because I know a lot of people are looking forward to the movie, but you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Sorry. But at least it doesn't have to deal with Avatar 2 anymore. I mean, I guess that's a good thing because I felt like those two movies coming out around the same time, it's obvious which one would win. 
like Aquaman, not Aquaman, uh, Avatar 2, The Way of Water, that would do some, that could do some damage when it comes out this December. It'll no doubt be like the event movie of, you know, December. And I don't know if Shazam 2 can really handle that. <laughs> but at least with March 17th, there's, there's a little less extreme. So there is some good to this date, but there's also some bad. So, yeah. So that was the DC movies. Now for everything else, we could talk about something a little more interesting here. We got two HBO Max movies that are now going to be theatrical now, which is really weird because usually, as we've seen a lot in the canceled series, it's usually a theatrical movie goes to streaming. We've seen that many, many, many times in the past. I mean, movies like Soul, Luca, Turning Red, um, Tomorrow War, Hotel Transylvania 4, that Cinderella movie from last year, Coming to America. Um, I know there's a bunch more <laughs> that I can't think of at the moment, but yeah, it's happened a lot. You know, theatrical going to streaming, but this is the opposite, streaming to theatrical. We don't see this really at all. Which I guess one could say this is a good thing. Obviously, you know, theaters need something. <laughs> they need content. And, you know, more content, the better, right? So the two HBO Max movies that have now upgraded to theatrical are House Party, which is a reboot of, like, the 90s uh, movies. And then we got Evil Dead Rise, which is going to be coming out. Well, House Party reboot, that's December 9th of this year. Evil Dead Rise, which is the fifth official Evil Dead movie. That is going to be coming out April 21st, 2023. It's kind of crazy. They thought, Ugh, Evil Dead? <laughs> Put that on streaming. <laughs> because, like, Evil Dead, I mean, sure, it's not the, big, the biggest horror franchise out there. But it still has quite a... still has fans. Like a very vocal fan base i mean evil dead one and two are considered one of the great some of the greatest horror movies ever and the army of darkness is considered a cult a real super cult classic and the 2013 evil dead then it did all right in the grand scheme of things like it did good so why not make another one especially like now like horror nostalgia is that it's reached its peak <laughs> arguably so, yeah, making this theatrical does make sense. I feel like it will definitely do more good, you know, than, you know, harm. <laughs> you know, the usual, you know, more harm than good. Like, this is the opposite of that, obviously. But I don't know about the House Party reboot. I don't know. Releasing a week before Avatar 2. Mmm. <laughs> that doesn't seem to be a great decision. <laughs> but I feel like it'll... It might get slaughtered, actually, but at least have that one weekend to shine, right? <laughs> so, yeah, so a House Party reboot and Evil Dead Rise, they upgraded. So, Batgirl, Scoob 2, they died, but House Party reboot and Evil Dead Rise, they live. Look, I don't know what's going on in David Salaf's head, <laughs> I don't know, like, what his thought process is. Like, oh, this deserves to exist. This doesn't deserve to exist. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> I know some... I fear apparently, like, in the comments here... I read a couple of them. Some people are just like... Y'all, you're willing to save those movies, but you're not willing to save Batgirl? <laughs> like, really? Especially considering that was nearly complete anyway. Although I've heard it's getting, like, a screening for, like, the cast and crew... Uh, I think uh, this week, I think. I don't remember. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what I've heard. But, yeah, this is weird. A another example of the chaos that is Warner Brothers Discovery. <laughs> so, moving on. Last few movies. Both horror. We got The Nun 2. Why? <laughs> well, I know why. Because the first Nun made a stupid amount of cash for, like... When it comes to like horror movies. Like it opened like f over 50 million dollars. That's the biggest debut for the Conjuring series. And I think that's the biggest over worldwide total. Which is really bizarre. That'd be the equivalent of. That'd be like if Ant-Man. Was the highest grossing 
MCU movie ever. <laughs> or well, this well, this technically happened. Like Aqu- Aquaman becoming the biggest DC movie. Well, that's off. That's obviously <laughs> reality. But yeah, it's really weird how the Nun did so well because I've heard that movie is terrible. <laughs> I guess brand name recognition is just too darn strong. So naturally they didn't make a sequel and it's going to be coming out September 8th, 2023. You know, I just realized something that's really strange. The nun, obviously the nun too. Well, the nun that came out in 2018. You want to know what else came out in 2018? The Meg, the Meg came out in August, nun September. That was 2018. Now, 2023, same thing. Meg 2, uh, August. None 2, September. And on the same weekends, too. That is... It's kind of (laughs) crazy. But, yeah, for the five people out there who want to see the None 2, well, mark your calendars for next uh, September. I know I won't watch it. (laughs) So... Yeah, and then Salem's Lot, boy, that movie is just having a real bad time. It was supposed to come out April 21st, that's been replaced by Evil Dead Rise, and now it's just in the ether <laughs> as of this moment. So a T a TBD, that means to be determined. So who knows what will happen to that? Who knows when that'll come out? Maybe it'll never come out. <laughs> it might be another Batgirl. <laughs> who knows? But, yeah, yeah, so for anyone looking forward to that, oof, you are just having the the roughest time. <laughs> First, it was supposed to come out, like, this year, but I knew it was going to get delayed anyway, because there was, like, no advertisements, nothing, no trailer, no anything. The mere two months before it was coming out, I was like, this is, it's going, and then it went, and now it's gone again, <laughs> for who knows how long, so... Yeah, yeah, so that's Sam's Law. And then apparently some untitled movies come out February 10th, 2023. Don't know what that is, so I'm not going to talk about it. So yeah, that's uh, what Warner Brothers did today. Uh, Lots of, you know, ups and downs here. <laughs> um, Yeah, again, the, the chaos of Warner Brothers Discovery. It's just continuing continuing to just go and i it is not over it's far from over like the the chaos is far from over so that's gonna it's gonna the next few weeks i imagine are going to be real interesting when it comes to wonder brothers discovery so yeah but now it's time to play that game everyone's favorite game what will happen next well i didn't predict anything that happened in this video so who knows? Okay, so August. What the hell is this breaking? That was never here before. Do I? I don't know if I have to talk about that. I guess I'll find out. But yeah, the rest of August. Well, August is pretty much done. September is you know set in stone at this point. Why would anything change in September? So same thing for October. Then you got November. Nothing is... I guess November 4th is just going to be an empty slot. No one's taking it. Which is kind of weird. But I guess next week you have Black Panther 2. So maybe that might be for the best. But you you can at least put something out. You can can win for one weekend before you die. (laughs) Which is better than never winning at all. (laughs) The rest of November looks fine. December... Shazam 2, scratch that, let's go in the March. Uh, then December 9th, that was an empty slot. Well, that slot's now been fi- uh, been um, been filled with that House Party reboot. And then the rest of December should realistically stay, but yeah, Shazam 2, that's March now. And then all these movies that are in the ether that may come out, may never come out, who cares at this point? <laughs> Then you got January, which is whatever. Then you got February, which is whatever. March, Shazam 2 has replaced Aquaman 2. 
the rest is just like fine here. And then April, you got two Warner Brothers movies that are now in the ether. That last train in New York movie and Salem's Lot. They're both just gone now. Been replaced by Evil Dead Rise. So there's that. Uh, then you got May. Then you got June. Flash. Stay in course for some reason. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the rest of June, I guess, looks fine. July looks fine. August, I already mentioned like Meg 2, which you know also came out August 2018. Then you got September, September 8th. That slot was empty, but now that's been filled by The Nun 2. Uh, that Blue Beetle movie, I guess I'll stay, depending if like Warner Brothers deems it or Warner Bros. Discovery deems it worthy of a theatrical release. I don't know. At this point, <laughs> then you got October, which is like, whatever, it's barely filled. November, same thing. And then December, we got our first, well, not, well, I guess, yeah, we got Aquaman 2 now coming out. This, you know, obviously Star Wars, Star, they're not coming out. They're just not. It's only a matter of time before they're officially, officially removed. But Aquaman 2 now has that Christmas date. And now every other movie is just going to circle around it. So, yeah. And that's it. That's what the next two years look like. So, yeah. Anywho, yeah, that's it. That's all. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn, turn notifications, share the whole drill. Want to check out more videos like this? Got playlists on the homepage of all previous Cancel episodes I've done the channel, all 151 up to this point. Uh, so, yeah, more than enough to choose from. So, go binge it from beginning to now. I highly encourage it. Go do it. So there's also box office predictions where I predict box office for movies. This weekend, I thought I was only going to do The Invitation 3,000 years long, but apparently I have to do Breaking 2, maybe... You'll find out if I make a video on it or not. That's what, you know, this weekend looks like. So stay tuned for those videos. But if you want to watch any of the past uh, prediction videos I made this year, you can go right ahead. There's also uh, box office recaps where I go over the box office re results for a particular month. I'll do the August recap after Labor Day weekend. And then after that, I do my two-part summer 2022 recap go over the winners and losers so that's three videos coming in september stay tuned for all those but if you want to watch any of the past recap videos i've done the channel you can go right ahead and yeah that's it that's all i am out goodbye